So, uh, Prophet Muhammad, many people, they say, okay, well, now I know about Islam, but I don't know any, anything about Prophet Muhammad, who is the last messenger uh, prophet, you know, after Jesus Christ. Prophet Muhammad is not the founder of Islam, like a, a lot of books that we read, like secular books. He is actually the final messenger of Allah, as we found that all the messengers that they were mentioned in the Quran, and I'm sorry, in the Old Testament and the New Testament, right? Uh, he, they were all Muslims because they all submitted to God. His traditions, we call it Sunnah. Sunnah means the way, are the number two source of the Islamic knowledge after the Quran. So if we have an issue that we need to look for or to, to see what is right and what is wrong, the first thing is we go to the Quran. That is our source. Second, if we couldn't find it in the Quran, is to go to the traditions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then third, like for example, we have some issues right now, modern issues that were not there 1,400 years ago, like smoking, for cigarettes. Okay, so we see what the, the, the major scholar opinions are. Okay, and we follow the major scholar opinions. So these are the three sources. First, the Quran, second, the traditions, and the third is the scholar opinions. People used to call the Prophet Muhammad the trustworthy and honest. But when he became a prophet, when he was 40 years old, and and by the way, I'm going to talk more about his biography in a, another time, inshallah. Pagans tried to kill him, and they got so mad because they don't want to change their own old ways. And, and they also persecuted him. They put Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers in boycott for three, for three years. His followers suffered from persecution, persecution and killing. His uncle was one of the chiefs of the, the Arab uh, tribes. And uh, they came to him and he said, look, you need to do something about your nephew. We're going to give him all the money that he wants. We're going to give him all the women that he wants. He can marry as many women as he wants. He can, we give him the chief of the tribe if he wants, any position. Let him just quit this new religion that he came with and let him just follow what he used to follow, uh, what, what we, we used to follow. Mm -hmm. He said, even if you put the sun in my right hand and yeah, the moon in my left hand in order to quit, I won't stop until the message is conveyed or I die conveying it. Mm -hmm. So that's his persistence. Mm -hmm. He was the most beautiful example as a merchant, mm -hmm. as a father, as a husband. He was the most beautiful example as a teacher, as a politician, as a warrior as well, because he defended the weak people and the needy. Some of his teachings, none of you truly has faith until you wish for your neighbor what you wish for yourself. And that's the golden rule, right? Mm -hmm. Do whatever you like to be treated, right? to others like you would like to be treated. He said, the powerful is not the one who knocks the other down. Indeed, the powerful is the one who controls himself in a fit of anger. Mm -hmm. He also said, God does not judge according to your bodies and appearances, mm -hmm. but he scans your hearts and looks, in, and looks in, into your deeds. Mm -hmm. What did the Westerners say about Prophet Muhammad? Like Mahatma Gandhi, he said, I became more than convinced that it was not the sword that won the place for Islam in those days of life. It was the rigid simplicity, the utter self-effacement of the Prophet, and the scrupulous uh, regard for his pledges, his intense devotion to his friends and followers, his intrepidity, his fearlessness, his absolute trust in God and in his own mission. Michael Hart wrote a book, uh, and he just died recently in two, 2012, a book called The Most the Most Hundred People Influential in History, or something like that. He mm -hmm. said, my choice of Muhammad to lead, he put Muhammad, the first one, to be mm -hmm. the most influential. Mm -hmm. He said, my choice of Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential influential persons m may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others, but he was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both religious and secular levels. 
Gibbon, he was in the 18th century, he, he wrote The Fall of the Roman Empire, and then they made a movie out of it, a Hollywood movie. He said, the sin of Muhammad in the eyes of the Christian West in that he did not allow his enemies to slaughter himself or crucify himself. However, he practiced his human rights by defending himself, his followers, and his religion. Then he vanquished his enemies. So that was his prophet, Muhammad. Peace be upon him. So every time we talk about uh, Prophet Muhammad or other prophets that they were mentioned in the Quran, we say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Arabic, peace and blessings be upon him.